I'm at the Homa's house, guys. This is another antebellum home in Louisiana. It was built in the late 1790s and it sits on 35 acres of land. There's a beautiful Japanese garden here. The house has 16 rooms built with antiques and other items from that era. And uh, I was gonna take you on a tour of it, and I will, but it's hot. We're burning up out here, so I'm not gonna give you the whole spiel. You're just gonna have to watch the clips, and I hope you enjoy it. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think of the Homa, Homa's house, guys. Here we go. All right, everybody. This is the back of the Homa's house in Darrow, Louisiana. And one of the best things about it is they're gonna let me film inside. A lot of plantations don't, so today I'm gonna show you the interior and a little bit of what you can expect if you visit the Homa's house. The tour guide showing us around is amazing. He's giving us all sorts of details about every room in the Homa's house and the historical significance of every piece in the room. The Homa's house is located between New Orleans and Baton Rouge. Closer to Baton Rouge, actually, it was only 30 minutes away from my place. So this was an easy one. Here's a shot of the group that I'm with, so I'm not really able to go full throttle in here, but we're having a great time and learning a lot. The interesting thing about this piece is it was designed by the same man who designed Mount Rushmore. And here's another interesting tidbit. The present owner is a dog lover. So when you take the tour, you're gonna to see a lot of dogs represented throughout the house. Right now, we're hanging out in the billiard room. This is the gentleman's parlor. If you've been following me for a while, you've probably noticed that I'm not one to bog you down with a lot of history and facts. Why? Because I wanna show you enough to make you go out to these places for yourself. These tour guides work hard and they love sharing their history and knowledge with you. Did I mention that there's also a museum on the property? It's called the Great, the Great River Road Museum. It depicts what life was like on the Mississippi River back in the old days. So let's go check it out. If you want to see what life was like on the Lower Mississippi River during the 1800s, then the Great River Road Museum is the museum for you. The Great River Road Museum just acquired a lot of statues from the Conte Wax Museum in New Orleans. So we can see depictions of a lot of past governors of Louisiana throughout the exhibit. This is an interesting one. This is Huey P. Long at a casino gaming table with past Louisiana governor, Edwin Edwards. Please keep in mind, there is so much more to see at the Great River Road Museum than I'm gonna show you in this video. These are just the things that I found visually stimulating, but you can spend hours in here. This museum is huge. They have displays showcasing every plantation along the river road, as well as imagery and artifacts from the steamboat days and other depictions of life along the Mississippi River in the 1800s. By the way, if you do prefer a more detailed experience, there are YouTube videos out there that will blow your mind. 
with detailed descriptions on every object in the Great River Road Museum. So please go ahead and check out their videos as well. But if you like the way I do it, you could always hit that subscribe button. There's more videos to come, and I always enjoy having you along. Check out these old school slide projectors. These were called magic lanterns. They would take photos on slides and put a light source in back of the camera and they were able to project the image on a wall. Back then, if I was producing content, this is probably what I would be using. Welcome to the Homeless House Gardens. Sure, I know. We've been seeing a lot of gardens on the channel lately, especially since we've been doing the plantation theme. Well, the homeless house does it a little differently. How? These are Japanese gardens. What does that mean? It means it's very zen-like out here. It's so relaxing. So let's take a moment to Decompress. Take a few deep breaths and unwind. It's a lot of work making these YouTube videos for you. So let's take a break at the homeless house. Gardens. <laughs> The interior of that house was actually a lot more elegant than a lot of houses that I go into. So I'm glad they let me film it for you guys. These gardens are also beautiful, but uh, if I ever come out here again, I'm gonna come on a cooler day. And I advise you to do the same, because it's really hot out here, <laughs> really hot. Check it out, everybody. I just met David. David's staying on the location. So what did you, what do you think about the uh, homeless house in? It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful place, beautiful gardens. Uh, the museum's a nice touch. So yeah. You can get here and do do the museum. Right, or right. You can go do the gardens, restaurants here. There's a bar here. There's a bar? What? All in one spot. Fantastic. Well, you know, I could use a drink. I've been burning uh, up. Yeah. Maybe. Little Sazerac or an old fashioned. <laughs> yeah, you can't beat it. So, this is the turtle bar. They didn't talk about this in the brochure. But it looks really nice in here. We're gonna get a beverage of sorts. All right, guys. So here it is. What it, what is this what beverage? Do you call this, Mr. John? It's an aviation. aviation. An aviation. Yeah, cool. Lane Vince. Do you remember when I told you that there were three restaurants on the property? Well, this is the Carriage House restaurant. It's considered one of the more casual ones, but to me, this looks very formal. This is where I'm gonna have a little lunch to get me through the rest of the day. And I wanted to show you a little bit of it before I left. Thank you so much for watching. You made it through the whole video. So if you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I love each and every one of you so much, and I'll see you on the next one.